There's a scene in the Air Force that all fighter pilots know, and I know the Navy has something similar. It's the last thing that a flight lead says to her wingman before we go fly. It's the last thing I would say to my wingman in my formation before we would go fly, whether that was in training, in combat, or in air shows. We would be done briefing, we'd be in our G-suits and our helmets, walking out to the jets, Top Gun playing in the back of our heads, right? And the last thing I would say is I'd look to my left and the right and I would say, when in doubt, always honor the wingman contract. When in doubt, always honor the wingman contract. So what does that mean? Right? The wingman contract to a fighter pilot means everything. In those few words, it said, we have a mission and a vision that we have all committed to. We have a set of values and principles that are prioritized a certain way, and we all agree to what those are. We have professional standards and professional behaviors and professional qualifications and certifications that are our expectations of each other. And in this wingman contract, it is that gentleman's handshake and that gentlewoman's agreement, an unspoken bond that says, I will hold you accountable to those standards and to this contract and this culture out of caring and compassion for you and a shared commitment to what we're trying to do here. And oh, by the way, that wingman contract means I will hold myself accountable to those standards, values, and behaviors as well. It is an unspoken bond that means everything. And the beauty of having a wingman contract, a culture that everyone understands, that everyone on your team has bought into, that everyone, right, agrees to, is that it applies to the youngest, newest intern hire you have, all the way up to the most experienced, decades-old CEO that might be running the company, which is probably some of you. It applies to everyone equally. The wingman contract is all about accountability to each other out of a place of caring and compassion and shared commitment. My question to you is, right, what is your wingman contract? If you think about it right now and you think about the teams and the companies that you're working for, can you define that? Do you have buy-in on it? Have you had input on it? If you asked people on your team, would they actually have an inclination of what those values in that culture is? If not, I ask you to take this concept back to your teams because the beauty, my friends, of a wingman contract is this. It allows anybody in an organization at any level to make independent, agile decisions at the exact time and place that it's needed that will always be in alignment with your values. When in doubt, always honor the wingman contract.